Hey what's up guys welcome back to Mtech Viral. So we have successfully made our ultra basic application which is just showing an HTTP response and that is hello world and as we can see here well, this is very very simple application we want to have some html html code we want to uh, we want to have a nice looking website and that is why we need to make templates and for making templates what we have to do we have to look at our uh, project structure once again and here there's a folder which is templates and it is empty so there is nothing in this uh, folder so let's move to settings.py and see is there something related to um templates so first of all let me tell you more about this file so first of all we are importing os and uh, this is build paths inside the project like os.path.join so this is what this is giving up us as the base directory so that uh, there there might be a situation like i am working on mac os you must be one uh, working on uh, windows os or linux so their uh, directories will be different for every person so base directory will be different for me uh, it will be uh, in the unix format and for you it will be in the windows kind, uh, kind of format so c colon slash slash user slash that that's blah 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 so that's something which uh, uh, which is a very problematic for us as a developer so that is how you can identify the base directory by using this kind of uh, by calling this os.path.directory name and this is how you can do this so you don't have to worry about this and uh, below that there is a secret key so which is the keep the secret key used in production secret so uh, you don't have to worry about this as well because it is regarding security and uh, this is uh, you have to do you don't have to do actually anything here uh, this is the, the secret, secret key which will be generated whenever you generate a project and here below that there is a debug is equal to true and when we will right now we are in the development phase so that is true so that we can give uh, uh, so that django can give us better understanding why the errors are happening or something like that but once we will move to the production then we will make this false and this is the allowed host like uh, you want to specify that these urls only can access my app so you will specify those urls here below that we have this installed application where you will de uh, declare all your applications so these are all the application which are already made by django by default and now we have made one application which is first app and we will define that application here as well so first app okay and we will put a comma it's a best um, best practice to put a comma so that you can include uh, more uh, more things here and below that there is a middle where uh, we will talk about it later so because this is uh, something uh, which uh, which will be uh, which will be difficult for you to understand in the beginning so let's skip this uh, then we have root url conf so uh, this is the uh, root urls file and that is first project dot urls this one this file is the root url file then we have this template so this is saying that uh, backend templates is declared here then we have directories for this uh, templates folder so we don't have to do actually anything then this wsgi application which will be used while deploying this application uh, on the server then we have database so by default django is using this sqlite 3 or sqlite database and we can uh, change it to postgresql or mysql this is our choice so for uh, for our kind of project sqlite is more than enough then we have this auth pass validators where we have some kind of validators which django gives and we can also uh, declare our uh, our validators as well so these are these are the password validation we will talk about it when we will move to our admin uh, admin panel and then we have this inter uh, nationalization like language code is en us time zone is utc let me change it to uh, asia slash Kolkata you can uh, change the time zone according to your country so I am changing it to uh, to make it compatible to India then we have these things you can ignore these things then we can also declare where our static files will reside like CSS JavaScript and all the images so this is all about settings.url now let's go to our templates we will create a folder here first of all and we will name it same to our 
application so our application was first underscore app so we will make first underscore application folder in inside this template and we will uh, have multiple applications so th then we will have multiple folders for those application in this template folder because this templates folder will be a single one and you can also make uh, this template in inside these application but uh, it is a better practice to you know uh, have the template outside of the application and then all the uh, applications folder inside this template so we have this first step templates now here let me uh, make an ind uh, index.html file so let's say index and we have this html5 file and now let's write here in the title mm, index page okay okay fine so this is our index file now we have an html file but it, it is not referencing anywhere inside our code so let's reference it somewhere so we will move to the views.py again here we have this index and we are uh, fetching a request now let's remove this line and now we can say that we want to pass something from here to there so let's say uh, we are, have some data okay and uh, how you will declare the data something like this and then here you can have uh, say this is not data this is say my context because we have to um, send the data by using context and here we can see we have a data and we will write here welcome to my first app so you will declare the data by using this dictionary so I told you earlier as well that uh, uh, we will deal only with dictionaries and it is similar to objects in JavaScript and after that we will say return and now we will render so while rendering uh, it takes three or four parameters and three parameters are compulsory so uh, we will uh, two parameters are compulsory uh, the parameters with this uh, uh, let's say what it is this none none as a uh, default parameter that they, they can be left uh, like this only so you don't have to de uh, define them if you don't have the data for them so uh, this render function what will it will do it will render your HTML template so first of all you have to give the request parameter here so we are taking the request while uh, calling this method now you have to uh, define the template here let's see so it is the template underscore name so here what I can say I will say first step slash and we have index.html so this is why i told you to include uh, this first step directory here in templates if you don't want to include that then also you can call index.html but there can be multiple index.html if you have multiple applications so that's why i told you to make uh, a directory for first step and now we will pass the data by using this uh what's the third one sorry we have to close this then we have this context so we can pass here the context is equal to my context okay so this is the my context and this is how we will pass the data and you can also eliminate this we don't have to write this this is your choice if you want to say like this okay so we have this render now we don't need this http response so we can delete it so we we are rendering now this my context now let's move to index.html so here in body let's say inside p tag i can show that data so i will use these two curly braces this is called string interpolation so this string interpolation is for fetching the data from the view python view file and then showing here and here we can call data okay this data is uh, this one which we have uh, uh, declared in the dictionary so it this data is corresponding to this welcome to my first app so this is the key and this is the value and in the in the index.html we have this data so this is normal html if you don't know about html then you have to you know work on html and i have tutorials already on html so you can take a look so now let's refresh this page and it should render my html page so let's refresh it and as you can see this is index page and it is 
saying welcome to my first tab and this is perfect okay so we have this is uh, index.html right now now let's uh, change this index to index one two three so it will say page not found okay so this is how you will make uh, use of templates and this is how you will uh, put index.html on any html file and this is all about templates and now we will also focus on how to include static files like css and everything else so this is all about this video i hope you can be good able to understand what is templates what how to uh, include them in our project so thank you so much i'll see you in the next video